Um, we're going to start with putting a coral reef in one corner of our base. So for a coral reef, you need to look through all your Lego and find some bright colors. Now you see, I managed to find some orange, some light pink, some dark pink, and some purple. Um, you know, if you have a lot of Lego Friends kits at home, this is going to be easier because they have a lot of those types of bright colors. You know, if you don't have many of these types of colors, you can go for green and blue and red. Um, which everybody will have, but the more you can find of some of these unusual bright colors, the better it will look. Um, even more challenging, if you can manage to find a bunch of bricks that are the same color and exactly the same shape, a lot of coral has regular patterns, you see. So if you can find, you see here, I have just stacked up squares unevenly, but repeating the pattern as I go, right? Here, I've done the same thing with two by two round bricks, and that makes a really nice organic shape there. And if one by two bricks, you can do a thing where you stick them just on one stud, and then instead of like being square to each other, you, you tip it in until it catches on the stud below, and you just keep going. And if you do that, you can make a nice tall shape that spirals around as it goes. Now, if you can't find a lot of matching shapes, that's okay. If you can just get, the main thing is that the whole color for each piece of coral has to be the same. This one is built out of different shapes of bricks. And you see here, I have a bunch of mixed orange. I'm gonna take two of the biggest ones and use them for the bottom. And the trick is you want it to stick out in places as you go up. It should look uneven. It shouldn't have lots of big straight bits as if it were a building. If we want to make it look like a plant, the more uneven and irregular it is as it goes, the more natural it looks like a shape. Of course, corals aren't actually plants. They're built by animals. They are animals. Um, maybe that's a thing you could discuss and find out about. I bet you a lot of you know more about coral than I do. Um, what I know is that they build, they grow and build upon themselves and they make these wonderful complicated shapes as they do. Now, here's our baseboard again. We'll pick one corner of the baseboard and stick the corals on there. I'm going to put my biggest corals at the back and the smaller ones in the front. But you want to cluster them all together like a little forest of corals. And try and mix up the colors and there we go so that is our coral reef part of our board